So you just finished watching Invincible and now you want to start collecting the comic. Well, everything that you could possibly want to know is right here in this video. Woof woof! Hey guys, it's me Marcus aka The Mad Dog and we're back with another video. So we're finished now with the first season of Invincible and I know that there's a lot of people that have been introduced to this title as a result of Amazon Prime. But it looks like it's going to be at least a year until season 2 and you can't wait for that. So what better time than now to jump into one of, if not the best, superhero comics of all time. But if you weren't familiar with the series before, you might not be sure exactly which format you need to buy. This says volume 1, this says volume 1, and you're not even sure what's collected between the two and which is going to be the best format format for yourself. If you're already a diehard fan of the comic series, this one probably isn't going to be for you, but if you just want a little bit of help and knowing exactly what's collected where, I'm going to do my best to try and do that for you. So looking at the series, it was written by Robert Kirkman and illustrated originally by Corey Walker, but then Ryan Otley took over for the majority of the series after that. The first issue was released in January of 2003, with the 144th and final being released in February of 2018. There was also a few additional issues here and there, such as Invincible Returns, and there was also a crossover with the Astounding Wolfman. The first format that we're going to look at is the one that it was originally released in, and that's single issues. The problem with this, though, that I have to stress from the beginning is that there's 144 of these, and then all those little extra ones that you'd have to get along the way. If we're thinking of this like a relationship, this is the equivalent of the person that you want so badly to be with, but you never know if they're going to be perfect for you or if they're ever going to be the full package. You keep going back and checking and seeing if anything's changed, but there's always just something missing from it, and it's never going to be complete. And even worse than an unfulfilling relationship, the later issues of Invincible were printed in higher quantities than those of the original couple because there wasn't as much popularity for it. So it might be really easy to find some of the issues, maybe the ones that are already in triple figures, but in particular if you're looking for issue 1, you are going to be paying a hefty price. And even compared to some of the more premium formats that we're going to touch on later on in this video, this is probably going to be the least cost effective method of collecting this series. The only way that that isn't really going to be the case is if you find somebody who's selling the complete set. Next up's the original trade paperbacks that were released pretty much shortly after the series began and there were 25 of these in total. They're very skinny and they tend to collect less than 10 issues and because they've been out for a number of years and there's been different formats that have been released since then, you might actually have to hunt down one or two of these as well. This, if we're going to continue with the relationship metaphor, is the equivalent to the person that you went out with in high school and you thought they was perfect there and you thought that it was going to be all that you wanted but since then you've experienced more of life and you look back and you realise that it wasn't really everything for you. Look at me talking as if I actually went out with somebody when I was in high school considering the fact that I've got a Pete Campbell haircut right now. But these trade paperbacks would have been the most convenient format if it wasn't for the compendiums that had come out which we're going to talk about next. However, there is an Invincible Presents Atom Eve and Rexplode Volume 1 that you can only really get in this format. This was a little side series that was printed but admittedly I haven't heard anybody talk about it, I haven't read this even though I love this series and I don't think I've missed anything by not picking this up. Next up's the compendiums which is the first of the most viable options for people who are picking up this title today. There's only three volumes that you need to pick up so that you can get the whole series. These are all in trade paperback and they also have about just over a thousand pages each. This is a Spawn compendium which was also published by Image and as you can see it's a very whammy boy but it is still quite flimsy when you compare it to something like these hardcovers. This is the equivalent to the person that you go out with because it's comfortable. It's not the most exciting thing that you've ever seen in your life but still it gets the job done and it makes you happy. The only real downside to this is that with it being over a thousand pages, it might not be the most convenient for some people to read. Some people find a book with that many pages quite daunting to jump into and if that's you then maybe this isn't the best method that you should be buying. But if you just want a physical copy of Invincible and you're not too bothered about keeping it pristine for years and years on end and it's just something that you can go back to every time then this might be the best format for you. It's also probably going to be the most cost effective because each of these volumes is about under 50 quid I believe. And I know at the moment it looks as if these are out of stock in quite a few places but I can personally vouch for our sponsor OrganicPriceBooks.com I'm going to leave an affiliate link in the description so that you can go directly to the Invincible Compendiums. But if you use code WOOF WOOF anytime that you're on Organic Price Books, you will get $2 off your order. But if you're just wanting something convenient, then getting these three books will mean that you've got the entire series. I realised that I kind of told a little bit of a lie early on because there were hardcover editions of these compendiums, but admittedly, they were only really out for the first couple of months when the compendiums were released. I think they were exclusive to Skybound, which is Robert Kirkman's website, and always worth checking if you want to pick up some Invincible. But now it does 
does look as if these are out of print and admittedly if you're gonna go for a hardcover I would recommend the ultimate collections which conveniently is the next format that we were going to talk about because this is the one that I brought myself and that you can see surrounding me here there's 12 of these oversized hardcovers that you need to collect to get the full series and it's got pretty much everything except for that atom even rexplode that we talked about earlier these present the art in a bigger size than any of the trade paperbacks or compendiums that you can buy and they've also got extras in the back which I don't believe are included in the compendiums but I don't own those formats so I'm not 100% sure on that this is the equivalent of your dream guy or your dream girl the one that you always want to make sure that you can take home to your parents that you know they'll be proud of you because you've managed to get these it's got everything that you need it's beautiful and then just when you think that it can't get any better you've got those extras in the back it just keeps giving you more and more each time as you can tell this is my preferred format it's the one that I'd recommend to people that are a fan of the art and admittedly if you've seen any of Ryan Otley's art you probably are a fan of it overall these will cost you more than the three compendiums because I believe these are about $40 each at cover price obviously this channel sponsor organic price books has them at a cheaper price so I definitely recommend checking them out but if you want this complete series and the best presentation that's available at the moment this is definitely the one that I'd recommend even over the compendiums which are at a cheaper price the last physical format that I'm going to mention just for the sake of being comprehensive is the complete invincible libraries and similar to the invincible Iron Man by Matt Fraction complete collections that Marvel released when this says complete it doesn't actually mean complete there are only three volumes released which collects the equivalent of the first six ultimate collections and these are very oversized slipcase books equivalent to something like an absolute edition from DC so you get the slipcase there and the books contained inside it yeah the art is much larger it is much more beautiful but admittedly if you're gonna go this route you are never gonna get the full invincible story this is the equivalent to that person that you think's perfect you think that they've got everything that you need and more but they always just let you down and they're never gonna go the distance with you you're just gonna cause yourself heartache if you buy these complete library editions and I don't really recommend buying these especially because of the fact that I think a few of these volumes now are quite out of print so you're probably gonna pay over cover price which is more than I'd recommend paying for any book to then only not be able to finish this series anyway and then you're gonna have to go to either the ultimate collections or the compendiums or the trade paperbacks anyway to finish off this series it's just not worth it and these books already had an increased cover price to begin with but then you're gonna end up paying more because of the fact that you're gonna buy a separate edition and then if you're like me it's gonna bother you that you've got them in two different formats so you're gonna have to buy the first part of the series which you were buying in these complete library editions in the first place I really hope that made sense because I am very tired today the last option that we're going to talk about is going digital and if you don't want to have to worry about stuff coming back in stock this is definitely the way to go maybe you haven't read comics before but you'll love reading books digitally this would be a great alternative for you and I mentioned it in my guide to digital comics but don't get fooled by buying an ultimate collection for something that you're going to read digitally you will be paying an increased price but you're not really going to get any benefits of it the only reason why I'd recommend buying an ultimate collection digitally is if you're so bothered about the extras that you'd get in these formats but if that's something that doesn't really bother you at all then just get the normal standard compendiums on the Kindle app that you can find but if you've got prime reading you can read the first volume of Invincible for free and if you don't have prime reading but you want to sign up to it I'd recommend using the affiliate link in the description down below because that does greatly help the channel and if we're going to finish off this horrendous relationship metaphor that I've been carrying throughout this video the digital versions of Invincible or the equivalent of that person that you fancy on Facebook or Instagram and you know that you're never actually going to bring them home. That's fine, don't worry, I'm not going to grass you up because you read Invincible digitally, even though I would definitely recommend picking up these Ultimate Collections. So to summarise, if this is a series that you know that you're going to love and you want to keep coming back to and you want this to be in your collection for the rest of time, the Ultimate Collections are the one and only way for you to go. But if you just want a version of this on your shelf and you're not too worried about the spine becoming creased or maybe you don't have too much money to spend on this title in the meantime, or maybe you know it's going to be a bit risky for you to buy this one because it might be the case that you won't like it then the three compendiums are definitely the best and most cost effective way for you to go however if you don't even want a physical copy of this or maybe you're not sure if you're going to like it and you want to try it before you buy it because you know I will warn you now there are a few differences between the show and the comic I would recommend reading the first volume digitally because like I said it is available on Prime Reading and just seeing if this is something that you might enjoy but that's the video and like I said it's just something quick that I thought that I'd do to help a few people out if it was that you weren't sure how you can collect Invincible. If you have already read Invincible I'd recommend checking out my top 15 best fights from the series or if you're looking for another series that you're not sure how you can collect Criminal is one that I'd definitely recommend. I do hope that this has helped at least one person because this is one of my favourite comic series of all time so I don't know I was doubting myself on if this was going to be worthwhile making it so let me know in the comments section if this has helped you and which format you're planning on picking up. Like I said if you're planning on picking up any Invincible volumes or just any books in general I would definitely recommend trying out our sponsor Organic Prize 
Spice books. Again, just make sure that you use code woof woof to save $2 off your order. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, why did you get this far? Subscribe if you're new here and click that bell notification so that you never miss a video. Check out my links in the description and there is also a tip jar if you do want to help the channel because it is greatly appreciated. And share this video where you can because I'm sure you must have a relative or a friend that's been watching The Invincible Show and they don't know how they can start buying the comics. But why not check out one of my other videos and until next time just make sure that you stay safe, stay reading the best books that you can find and stay mad all you dogs. Woof woof! See you at the next video.